So hi everybody, um, I'm done with my walk through Nazareth to, uh, it's been an amazing little journey to go back and find some of my roots and find some of my pers purpose and reason for being, being here. Um, met some amazing people, um, put a lot of pieces together and I'll tell the story more completely when I can get a chance, um, be piecing little pieces of it and uh, took a lot of video and pictures and wow, something else, being here in Israel, being uh, called here and just letting my feet walk me, and not, not getting my mind out of the way, not, not having too much uh, control and just following the signs of where am, I, where am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to be doing at any given moment? Um, but it definitely feels like this little piece of the journey is uh, ending and uh, gonna, start, gonna start the next piece, whatever that is. I'm looking forward to going into my next leg of my training with uh, ISTA next, uh, next week. Um, Definitely, um, definitely feeling like I connected with um, my ancestors, um, allowed them to see through me a little bit. Um, walking through the streets, dressed up like this, uh, <laughs> King David, as Elias calls me, the man that uh, basically was kind of the destination of this little journey, I'll tell you about that. Uh, wound up in some uh, Roman era baths here in uh, Israel that aren't very pop, aren't very known and popular, which it seems weird to me, but not too weird really, because uh, you know part of the problems that we're having in the world is, um, you know, we're denying we're denying our shadows of sexuality, especially and uh, the guilt and shame that's put on us by culture and religion, uh, taking our power and our freedom and putting it someplace else besides where it's supposed to be in our hearts and, you know, following our hearts and doing what we want to do and with clear intention and conscious and consciousness. Um, so, very profound and um, it was definitely the purpose one of the purposes of for me to come here um, halfway around the world to I don't know if it's halfway but it was a long ways um, to, to walk this walk walking through the streets in this this King David um, <laughs> and uh, just because my middle name is David so it's actually my you know it's actually my name and uh, met some cool, 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 cool people and uh, bought some significant items from them and uh, when I today visited them the second time wearing some of them. Some of this stuff I didn't know why I bought it. I actually bought it for friends and gifts and stuff like that and some of it uh, wanted to be on me and uh, so I had the idea of uh, why don't I walk that walk and, and walk my talk and talk my walk, whatever, <laughs> whatever. And uh, that's what I did as a King David, I guess the priest, and uh, wow, was, was duly rewarded by the ancestors. I feel like I've cleared um, ancestors way back. Um, really feeling like they were happy to be seeing me doing what I'm doing, and uh, and it and I felt that way. And like every every little step was guided. I kept getting signs, just an incredible amount of signs that yep, you're doing the right thing, and um, that that was really cool. <sighs> feeling a little tired in my in my body, and I'm definitely gonna get a good night's sleep and rest tonight. And but uh, definitely feeling like uh, this is. The completion of this leg. Um, probably going to go to Jerusalem and be a just be a sightseer, 
tours for maybe a day or two and maybe Tel Aviv one day and go back to uh, Haffa and uh, Bet Oren and see what the training has in store. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so I'll post a few things here and there as, as, I feel, as it feels right and we'll go from there and I uh, can't wait to see you all when I see you. Um, I love you and uh, infinite love. <laughs> yeah, we will uh, we will cross cross paths soon. Uh, Nazareth can't recommend more. I would uh, the destin the final destination of this journey was a two thousand year old uh, Roman style bathhouse that. Uh, Obviously, was around when Jesus was around, and uh, yeah, what were they doing there? Having some fun, I think, and uh, explains why maybe the place is not popular. Was it's a new find? It's a new. It's a very significant archaeological uh, dig, though. Um, that just it's almost been ignored. It's it's pretty cool that I was guided to go there and meet this man named Elias that uh, did the did the uncovering of it and, and owns the shop there and bought some stuff including this uh, this dragon necklace from him and uh, pretty sure we will be uh, lifelong connected and uh, you know I put the See down. I'm sure they've had it already, but I mean, it was a it's a really big place overall. He 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 uncovered a little piece of it and um, struggling, you know, financially because not that many people visit. It's not like a tourist destination, mostly probably because of uh, that. You know, it's in that purpose of having pleasure for your body is uh, in the sh is in the shadow um, and. Uh, most most people is not understanding to be uh, fully in your power and freedom. Uh, you have you have to get into your shadow and, and accept the fact that we are animals with the sexual uh, nature and, and it was how we all got here and it's creation itself. And uh, to deny it just means you're giving your power away to uh, some other people or beings or organizations or programming or your own mind or whatever it is. And, uh, not serving you. Uh, I encourage you to uh, live, dream a dream and, and try it out. Tr try being King David for a day or whatever, you know. Um, most people are just going to go, oh, whatever, or they're going to, or they're going to see, see that you have something in mind, what you're doing. And uh, most people, it doesn't matter what people think, actually. <laughs> um, but people can recognize when, uh, when you're speaking truth and uh, walk, talking and talk, and walking and walk. And that's what I found here. And this place of uh, Nazareth, so beautiful, the people here. Uh, it was really cool to come to a city in Israel that is Arab. It's an Arab, fully Arab city. And uh, I didn't know that when I came here. And uh, having no religion myself, being spiritual, but having no religion, uh, just made it really easy. I mean, I'm not sure it wouldn't be easy for anyone, but, uh, yeah, uh, talking to all different, all different people, just seeing the thread of connection that goes through uh, all of us. So, see you when I see you. Infinite love. Bye.